Hey everyone, how's it going? So now that the new Godzilla and Kong The New Empire trailer has come out, I thought it'd be fun to show you how to draw some more of the Titans. So in today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cartoon version of Scar King. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our cartoon Scar King, let's begin with the eyes. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to begin by making a line that's just going to come down a little bit with a curve, and then we're going to come up here at an angle for the eyebrow. Next, we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to go down, and then we're going to bring this up with a curve at an angle. Next, for the eyes, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come down and then I'm going to bring it all the way up here in like a half circle shape. Same thing, we'll just come down and then bring it up in that half circle shape. Next, I'm going to curve this line up on each side. Now for the nose, let's draw a line that's going to curve up and then back down. We'll do the same thing here, come up and then bring it back down. Then I'm just going to color in a little oval for the nostrils. And then I like to add a couple little curved lines up here. Now starting up here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve out and then come in. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to curve out, and then I'll just bring it in. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. It's going to go over, and then up here. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come across. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up and down, and another one here for the teeth. Kind of like a little triangle shape. We'll make a line that curves across here. I'll make a small line in here, and then a couple lines coming down here for the teeth. Then I like to add a little line underneath here. Now, starting here, let's make the head. So I'm going to bring a line that's going to come up, and then we're going to curve it back down for the head. Now, starting out here, I'm going to make some little pointed lines that are just going to kind of curve down. We're going to bring these all the way along the bottom here, and then we're going to curve them back up on this other side for the hair. Now, starting here for the ears, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve up and down. And same thing here, we're just going to curve up and down. And we'll add a little curve inside of here. Next, I'm going to draw a line that comes down to start the top of the eyebrows. And then I'm going to make a couple little wrinkle lines for the forehead. I'm also going to put a little line underneath each eye right here. Now that we have the head, let's go ahead and work on the body. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to bring a line that's just going to come down a little bit on each side and I'm putting a few little points in here. Then I'm going to bring this down and then around here with those points. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. And you can see I'm putting in a few little points on here to make it look at, like it's kind of furry. Then I'm going to make a zigzag line across the bottom of each leg. 
I'm going to bring this line up with a few little points. Next, I'm going to bring the line that's going to come out, down, and over from one of the toes. And I'll do the same thing here. We're going to come out, down, and then over. We'll do this again on each side, just kind of curve it around. I'll do it again right here. Do it right here. And then I'll do one more right here and kind of curve it up. So we come over, down, and then curve it up. I'm going to go over and then straight up, over and then straight up. Now right across here, I'm going to draw a line and then I'm going to make a second line right here. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up. It's going to have a little bump and then over. And I'm going to do this all the way across here. So it kind of looks like he's got that like skeleton on him. And I'm going to make these lines come down a little bit just to make it look more like the skeleton, a little more three-dimensional. Then I'm going to add some little bumps on each side. And some of them we won't be able to add the bump on each side. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve in and down. And then I'm just going to bring this line down put a few zigzags and connect it. Now up here at the top of the head, I'm going to make a couple little points on each side just to show some more fur. Now let's finish off with the arms. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to make some pointy lines that just come down to about here. And I'll do the same thing over here. Just going to make some pointy lines. We'll make some zigzag lines across. And we'll kind of make these little points come up. I'll bring a line down on each side. Then I'm going to put a couple little bumps right here for the fingers. So see I'm just kind of going down and up. Curve it in on each side. A little curve here. We're going to curve out and in and then up. Out and in and then up. Now, the final thing I want to do is I want to add a couple little lines so we can show a little bit of difference in color when we start to color this. So I'm going to just make a little line that's going to come over and then up. And same thing here, kind of over and then up. Now on the head, I'm going to bring this line down and over. Same thing here, down and over. Bring this right to here and right to here. Then I'm going to bring this up to the nose and then we'll bring this down on this side. And there you go, there is your drawing of Scar King from Godzilla and Kong The New Empire. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.